Human activity has altered almost 75% of the Earth's surface, contributing to global biodiversity loss. According to a global assessment of biodiversity and ecosystem services in 2019, around one million animal and plant species are threatened with extinction, many within decades. To conserve and restore biodiversity, it is crucial to take a localized approach, which considers the ecosystems and species in a given region. The United Nations University Institute for the Advanced Study of Sustainability, or UNUIAS, brings together over 170 multi-sectoral and interdisciplinary regional centers of expertise on education for sustainable development, or RCEs, in one network to build innovative solutions and take transformative action at the grassroots level. Between 2015 and 2019, during the Global Action Programme, or GAP, on Education for Sustainable Development, 135 RCE projects across 30 countries focused on SDG 14, Life Below Water, or SDG 15, Life on Land. In the Zaria region in Nigeria, Cutting down trees for fuel wood, housing and infrastructure development has been a major threat to biodiversity. A project conducted by RCE Zaria focused on educating the community to protect endangered native species of trees. We have established the Zaria Red List containing endangered species including geotagging them to location and we have started a campaign to protect them. The project has established a data bank of endangered tree species that are liable to extinction. At the same time, it has helped create awareness within the community on the importance of conserving these endangered species. Since RCE activities are focused on sustainable development through education, all projects were tied to SDG 4, quality education, in particular Target 4.7. Besides SDG 4, RCE biodiversity projects also focused on a range of other goals. For instance, RCE South Rift's project in Kenya focused on climate change, life on land, partnerships, food security and economic empowerment to address anthropogenic challenges such as land subdivision, poaching, pollution and mining. We are engaged in indigenous knowledge and documentation ecosystem restoration and rehabilitation, waste management, and agroforestry for socioeconomic empowerment. We have increased ecosystem services in the region, enhanced biodiversity range and distribution, and reduced impacts of climate change on species. RCE biodiversity projects were conducted in a wide range of educational settings, including through community education, in collaboration with higher education and research institutions, and educating youth in non-formal or informal environments. RCE Saskatchewan, in collaboration with Hannon Creek Education and Applied Research Centre, or HCE ARC, worked on sustainability, conservation and resource management initiatives to address the decline in local fish populations. Our team focused on one of the most endangered fish species, the lake sturgeon. We partner with Synovus Energy through an NSERC funded research study to evaluate the reproductive potential of Saskatchewan lake sturgeon populations. Although the study is still ongoing, we've raised community awareness through citizen science and media publicity. Over half of RCE biodiversity projects used a species-centered approach, focusing on specific plants and animals when creating curriculum on biodiversity. RCE's Curitiba Paranaz project helped redefine interaction between stingrays, regional fishers and riparian community members in the Paraná region of Brazil, following the establishment of a hydroelectric power plant. This RC project contributed to increasing awareness and understanding of the local community about freshwater stingrays. It is helping people understand that stingrays are an important component of this relatively new local biodiversity. People are learning how to adopt simple actions to avoid and reduce accidents with stingrays and therefore it is promoting more respect and a more pacific coexistence with this biodiversity component in the region. Over 40% of RCE biodiversity projects focused on forests and trees, 
traditional knowledge or agriculture, where knowledge from forest management, indigenous peoples or farming was incorporated into the learning. One such project by RCE Cebu in the Philippines focused on the preservation of indigenous knowledge for the protection and conservation of mangroves. We encourage smaller level and multi-sectoral participation in mangrove conservation with PNU Visaya students in the development and production of instructional materials for young children. This project helped improve the biodiversity in the region that encouraged migratory birds from other parts of the world during migration season. Through this project, the community improved their livelihood and food sources due to the flourishing marine resources and children in the area learned the importance of mangrove conservation. The project addressed mangrove deforestation that directly contributed to the disruption of hydrological systems. Through multi-stakeholder collaboration and local knowledge on biodiversity, the RCE network is able to link education to action and play an active role in developing solutions to protect ecosystems and biodiversity across the world.